the move instruction, which is actually a word copy paste. The logic here is pure and simple, is we toggle B3 zero back and forth. We are either executing the move or mask move. That way we can demonstrate the effect that the mask has on the results. In the upper rung, if we put in a value of one, now I'm looking at my uh, universal field device simulator, and if I put in one, of course, nothing's going to happen because I need to toggle B300 on. Now, in the lab, I pointed out that this is deceiving because it looks like, if I were to go back now, that this is true and it moved to 1 from N70 to output 0, but that's not true. This mask move is being executed but because the mask is all zeros, in other words, it's 16 zeros. So it doesn't matter what this value is, I'll put in 32,767. And look, this rung is true, but that value did not get moved to this integer, did not get moved to that integer. Now, if I toggle this bit, watch the output up here now. It's the same output. Now I look over at my field device simulator and all six lights are lit. Matter of fact, it, it, we only have the first six bits. If I go to output zero here and look, see they're all on except for the 15, of the 16th bit, which is bit 15, and that's the sign. If you make that a one, then you got a negative number. Okay, if I go back here, Again, it looks like this rung is true, and it looks like this move took place. It didn't. We're using the exact same destination for both of these instructions. And the last thing that this word, this 16-bit word right here, output colon 0.0, .0 the last thing it heard was 32,767. See, if I make this 0 here, well, this rung looks true, but I don't see zero down here. Now, let's change this to one. That's a constant, so I have to go into the edit mode in order to put that in there. You can't edit a constant in the run mode. Okay, now if I go back up here, and toggle the bit, it puts a zero in there. And if I make this um, two, toggle the bit, it puts a, it put the two in up here. So let me go back, toggle this back, Well, I guess we're going to do it this way. The bottom rung is true. Move N70, which is 2, through a mask that is all zeros except for the last bit, bit 0. And 2 is the second to last bit. So if I change this to 1, Now I have a value in there. If I change it to 3, I still have the same value because remember 3 is the first two bits are 1. The two, you have a 2 and a 1 that equals 3. If I go to 4, now you see that that's off because with a mask of 1, only the first bit is going through and 4 in, in binary, and we could go over here to N70, and change it to binary. We'll lock this on top. And drag her up. So you can see that the third bit, and this remember this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so forth. So any value 
that has a 1 right here will send a 1 through to the output word. So let's uh, change that to 0. Notice it changes it here. We're, we're looking at two instances of N7 colon 0. So any odd number like 5 is going to put a 1 down there. 7 is going to put a 1 down there. Remember this wrong is true. So all odd values, 11, let's put in an even, 12. See, now that's 0. Let's put in 32,767. It's going to put a 1 in there. Let's make that a 6 instead of a 7, and now we've got a 0 in there. So you could say that if you are doing a mask move through a mask of 1, meaning 15 zeros and a 1, the first most significant, we'll say least significant bit, in other words, to the far right, that is 1, and the other 15 are 0. Remember, they're showing this to you in hex form. So each one of those zeros represents four zeros. So if you move any integer through a mask of hex 1, the only values that you will get on the other end, bit 0 will be on at the destination if the source is a odd number. Back to 0. Now if I go up here and did the same thing. If I put in 11... I'm going to get 11. There's no mass, so everything is going to go through. 124, you get 124. Because the move instructions, mass move and move, do not have a false execution, what we might add to this code is a rung that's scan dependent, would have an unconditional clear to clear that output word. So every single program scan, this will clear, this instruction, it's unconditional, will clear output zero, that whole word, output colon zero dot zero, not bit zero, but word zero. And then one of these two rungs will determine, because last man wins, and this rung right here says that it's gonna be 124, this rung is false, so rung 2 here is false, so it's totally out of the max. This isn't like an OTE that has a true and a false execution. These only have true execution. This one is true right now, and it's saying put 124 in there. If I toggle this, we've got a 1 in here for a mask, so because that's an even number, when I toggle this bit, I would expect to see 0 here. because 124 is a even number. You can see right here that this bit is not on, and the only way you're going to have an output on through this instruction is if this bit is 1. So if I change this to 125, instantly you see you have a 1 there and a light on on your hardware demo. Now, as I said, this is scan-dependent logic, meaning if you move the clear to the last rung, this isn't going to work the same. We are dependent upon it being cleared and then one of these two rungs put in a value. If you put this guy last, then it's always going to be off because this is clearing the value before it does the output IO update. Another thing that I had you do, simply because if, if this were actually a piece of logic that you wanted in your program, for some useful purpose out on the shop floor in a machine, in a process. You don't want people to be able to move the clear in between or after. So what you do, you go in here and edit this rung, and you go to the user and put a branch around. Now, because this these two rungs are not in the edit mode, I can grab this instruction and bring a copy of it up there. Right click, branch down, and then drag a copy of this up there. Okay, now I have um, those, all three of those in one spot, but I still need one more thing. 
and I need my uh, instructions that are looking at B3 0 up here. Now I'm going to delete this rung, delete this one, and I'm going to select that rung, accept, test, assemble it, and I'm done. So this is the exact same logic. Now there's a, it scans uh, left to right, top down, so it's going to clear it. If this is true, it executes this one. If this is true, it executes this one. And both of them cannot be true at the same time because it's the same bit. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. As always, you need to play with this until it's firmly cemented in your mind how these instructions behave. And move, mask move, and clear all came come out of the same category. If you go up here, see, move logical, there's move, move ma mask move, and there's clear. All of these are in the same category.